Okay, so I'm out here with Tuvik today. Um, we hadn't been able to video in a while. It's been pretty nasty. It's been about 20, 30 below here and uh, just really cold. Don't have time to, or you can't get out with them when it's that cold. Now we've got a big storm moving in tonight. Uh, supposed to be blowing 40 mile an hour, 45 mile an hour and eight to 10 inches of snow tonight. So tried to get out here during this window. It's warmed up to about, I don't know, it's about probably 10 below, five below, something like that. So not too bad. We're gonna work him this today on uh, the walking force fetch. So I've been working him in the house quite a bit with force fetch and, and even the walking force fetch a little bit in the house. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit what it looks like. Uh, gonna work him a little bit on walking force fetch. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the walking force fetch. Um, just gonna kind of walk you through what I'm doing here. At first, I'm not applying any pressure. I'm just telling him to fetch. And you'll see how he's acting here. Uh, telling him to fetch there. Kind of do it casually. He's not really paying attention a lot. Then here I go to where I'm putting my hand behind his collar, putting my index finger inside his ear, and I apply pressure as I say fetch. Once he gets that bumper in his mouth, I release that pressure. So you'll see here, I grab behind his collar, grab his ear, say fetch, I'll make him fetch that bumper. Um, once he gets that bumper in his mouth, that pressure is released and he's all happy. So you'll see it again, I'll set him down here, fetch. So when you're first starting this, that's the best way to do it with the ear pinch. I have been working him in the house with the e-collar or the pressure collar and um, I will use that in this training as well. So here you see me, I'm grabbing my side there, it's my remote. Uh, it's really slight, real small pressure. What I'm doing is I'm hitting a continuous button until he gets that in his mouth. And you'll really see it uh, in this video, me doing that. Uh, he's doing an excellent job with this and uh, it's all about teaching him from the beginning you don't with the e-collar it's not a it's not a corrective measure you don't say no and and push the button you know this is something that you teach them when they're doing what you want the pressure's not on when they're not the pressure's on so um, so you'll see right here I'll sit him down actually I'm walking force fetching here we're, we're continuously moving I grab it out of his mouth I say it again fetch boom he grabs it I bring him back he's got his mouth walk him again, I hit again, fetch, see how quick he was right there? That's because that pressure was on. You see he's happy, it's not hurting him or anything like that at all. Fetch, boom, there it is. So what you really want to do is not make this a corrective tool, but make it as a, where he gets it in his, in his mind, hey, when that bumper gets in my mouth, that pressure is going to be turned off. Uh, so it makes it more reactive, and, and as you see, he's having a good time. Now it's fun time. So that's a little bit of video on the on the force fetching.